guys, it's Queen Deidre, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 1 of The Helpful Fox and Kosan. Before we get started, as I did yesterday with, um, Isekai Quartet, I, um, took out the first 10 seconds, which has the, like, the logos for Funimation and, um, What's His Face. So, go ahead, 10 seconds in the episode, and so that you're right here at the start of the dang episode, like me. But other than, <laughs> but other than that, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, one go. Did you just growl, Cody? Damn, dude, you got bad in your eyes. And go home, damn. Holy shit, my god, dude. You are worse than, um, freaking Kobayashi. Hmm? But he's going home now! Are you serious? Mm hmm. Now you have to stay longer. Yeah. The hell? Despair? That's what it looks like. Oh, you know I <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Hey, he needs a little bit of cuteness in his life. I'm guessing you can't make it home. Oh, she is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
It must be really late now. You poor thing. So depressed. Yeah, convenience store. Mm. Uh, yeah, honestly. But think, oh, wait, something smells good. Mm, I'm hungry. I mean, I've been eating no salted added pretzels, so I might go eat that one thing that we have in the fridge. <laughs> oh, she's making us dinner. No, that's the right. That's your apartment. Knock it off. Try again. <laughs> She's still going to be there. No. Third time's the charm. There you go. Hmm? Uh huh. Perfect. her out. Watch her pop back in. <laughs> yeah, aren't you hungry? <laughs> oh. <laughs> No! Oh god, that looks so good. I, I know. Mm. Good, right? Uh-huh. 
<laughs> Probably years. Right, because she looks so little kiddish. <laughs> but no, she is eight hundred. She just looks eight, maybe ten. Mhm. Mm I know she's not um filled in the right way. <laughs> How did you buy them? I mean, in a way that that's kind of like stealing, but I mean, hey, it did belong to her in a way. Yeah. What? Good. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm, it's fine. Let her do it for you. Stand in the middle. No. Baby, that I don't. See, I was gonna say that. Like, Sango so reminds me of his grandma. That could be his grandma. You want to pat her tail? You want to lay on her tail? Clutch it. Mm.
<laughs> I mean, it sounds perverted. <laughs> Very strange. But it's okay, he's a guy, and men have their needs and wants. <laughs> It's fine. You feel refreshed now. Uh huh. Good. Yeah, that's fine. For him, yes. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Am I? It won't make you weak. Just do it. You'll still be a man in her eyes and in your eyes. There you go.
그러죠? 야. Yeah. <웃음> mm-hmm. 응. Yeah, you got like bags on your eyes. So good job. No. <laughs> that was freaking cute. Like, oh my god. They're adorable together. I mean, like, even as a kid, he had someone to play with a little bit. I mean, like, I hope, like, with the rest of this series, we do go <clears throat> excuse me, more in detail of their past together. Because you, you can tell that they've known each other for a long, long time. Yes, Kurato doesn't really remember her, but Senko remembers him. <laughs> She's even like, oh, hey, I've been watching you for the longest time. And I mean, you know, for some people, that will sound a little creepy. But to Kurato, not really. I think, you know, he's like, you know what? It's good in my book. That's okay. But she's so cute. And like, I mean, damn. You come home to a nice cook dinner, home cooked dinner, come on, man, like, that is the life, when you come home from a long day of doing whatever, whether it's work or something, playing, you know, you just want to come home to food and your family and hugs and just cuddling and stuff, I mean, that would be my dream, I'm just saying, but yeah, I, it would be weird to come home to a little fox girl, <laughs> making you dinner, but hey, that's the new normal for Kodoto, coming home to a fox girl. <laughs> Pampering the crap out of it. <laughs> I really love the fact that he was petting her tail. <laughs> that was so cute. Like, oh my god. It was too adorable. Like, come on. That was like diabetes cute. And she makes some tea. Oh my god. That was freaking adorable. I'm sorry. I mean, she's so freaking cute. Like, oh my god. <laughs> but I do like the fact that, like, literally, even now, it feels like, in a way, that could be her his grandma's spirit, but not really because of the fact is when he was a kid and he was looking for his grandmother... Eventually, she was there, and she was, like, you know, over here, basically leading him to his grandmother, and eventually found him. Um, they found each other, which was sweet. Like, oh my god, this is gonna be that one that is gonna make me probably, like, die, like, every single week. I don't know, but, like, it's just so precious, and I hope we, I just want to see more backstory. Like, any other flashbacks with, like, Kuroto, his grandmother, and Senko. And then eventually have the other two um, Fox girls come to the world of the living and <laughs> hang out with Senko and Kurato. I think once those two come, it'll just be exactly like, you know, 
Miss Kobayashi. A little weird, but eventually it'll be his continuously the new normal for him. I mean, how would you feel if a little girl who was a fox demon is in your house cooking you food? I mean, yeah, you're gonna question everything, right? But then it's like some good behind food. You're, you ain't gonna question that. You just gonna sit there and you are gonna freaking eat. And you're gonna be like, I have no cares in the world. Like, mm, give me my food. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to me towards episode one of the helpful Fox Senko Sun. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos <clears throat> every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially next Wednesday for episode two. Bye, guys.